What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future, for future readings. Just saying, just saying. This is a, a free general collective reading, caps suicide to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Free general collective reading, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out, no Venmo. Uh, it's a very private, confidential way to donate. I do not publicly display how much you donate or your name. Just to let everybody know for privacy and confidentiality reasons. All right, you guys, here we go. Okay, so the channel message I received was a very selfish, greedy, um, dark arts um, side Libran that has put many blocking spell, uh, many money blocking spells on many people in the past and currently. Um, the energy is about to backfire in a huge way and hit them like a ton of bricks. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, you could be this greedy, selfish Libra or somebody connected to the greedy, selfish Libra, however that resonates. I heard Libra, so I feel it could be a masculine or feminine Libra. Um, if it's not you, it could be somebody you're connected to. Hope to God it's not you, but you never know out in the universe. Um, so um, you plug it in how it resonates. It could be you or somebody you're connected to. Wow, I just shuffled and look what I got on the bottom of the deck. Holy crap, despair. Um, and it's going to last for a long time. One very, very, very significant money blocking curse they put on one individual in the past is about to boomerang on them in a huge way year-long curse oh i just heard a year-long curse i have to look that up google that um year-long curse that's what i heard so some kind of year-long curse money blocking year-long curse oh i'm looking that up um that this greedy, selfish, low vibrational Libra apparently has put on somebody in the past. I heard is energetically boomerang back. And it sounds like, because, you know, black magic always backfires either a little bit or a lot. In this case, it's going to be a lot for this low vibrational Libra, whoever this is. They could have Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, wolf, dome, and hammer, Jupiter, charts. It could be you or somebody you're connected to. But I heard a year-long money-blocking curse. I'm looking this up. Okay. All right. All right. So year long money, money blocking curse. Um, I heard it's about to backfire and it is going to be horrible. Not going to feel like they can get out and they will not be able to. Okay. I heard not going to, it's going to be horrible. Whoever this is, apparently this low vibrational Libra has put negative into the universe. And I mean, they're on the dark side. So Obviously, they have put nothing but negative into the universe for at least a year, probably longer for some of these Libras. Um, you have to plug these Libras in your life, how they resonate, masculine or femme Libra. Um, but they put, it sounds like many hexes and curses and spells and etc. dark side energy. On the, I heard many people they put it on. But one particular person they put a year-long money-blocking curse on. But it's about to boomerang energetically back into the universe and hit them. And I heard it's going to be horrible. They're, feel, they're going to feel like they cannot get out of it. And I heard they will not be able to. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates. This could be you or somebody you're connected to. Number 32 might be a very significant number in this Libra's life or your life. Number 32 could be um, a significant age of you or somebody you're connected to. A social security number, a, uh, a um, green card number, a... Um, uh, jersey number, etc., 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 number 32, a lottery number, number 32. They are about to feel it soon, and for one of these Libras, it's going to last way longer than a year, way longer. What you put in, you get, you get, and you're about to get it back. 
Oh, Lord. So it's at least two low, low vibrational Libras in the universe, whoever the, these people are to you. Um, I heard one of these Libras is going to last way longer than a year. So um, it's a year-long money-blocking curse, apparently. Um, but I heard it's going to last way longer than a year. They're going to be in huge despair. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. That's at least for one lo very low vibrational Libra in the universe. But they have been putting money blocking spells and money blocking spells and money blocking spells. Uh, whoever these person or people are on many people, but one very particular person. But I heard it's about to really, really backfire on them. I heard it's going to last way longer than a year. So they're going to be in despair. Um, this is, ooh. I heard what you put in in the universe, you get back. And obviously they have put nothing but dark arts and black magic and negativity to the universe um, trying to block people's money. It wasn't just one person's people, um, one person's money they have blocked. Apparently it's been several people's, but one particular person. But it's about to energetically boomerang, but it's two or more Libras in the universe. Because I heard for at least one of these Libras, it's going to last way longer than a year. So I feel maybe two or more low vibrational Libras in the universe have put a year-long money, money blocking curse on somebody. But um, it's about to come back and boomerang. And there's about to be one significant death in a particular Libra's life soon. Air sign energy, they're about to be connected to it. Oh my God, you plug it in, how it resonates. And I heard there's about to be one particular um, death in a, um, one of these low vibrational Libra's life soon. And I heard they're about to be connected to it. So they're about to be connected to the death, I think as a um, suspect. Or somebody might find evidence that this person did it um, or suspected to do it. However, that resonates. This low vibrational Libra, we're all about a low vibrational Libra in here tonight. Um, which is going to leave this Libra in despair. This low vibrational Libra, there's nothing they can do to get away around this now. Too much evidence into the universe. Oh my Lord. I heard there's nothing this low vibrational Libra can do now to get around this now. There's too much evidence in the universe. So I feel there's too much evidence that has that is connecting this low vibrational Libra to the this um air sign it's an air sign that's about to sounds like about to pass away soon a gemini libra aquarius air sign um they could have gemini libra aquarius in their sun moon rising venus north node maintain or jupiter charts masculine or femme gemini libra aquarius but i heard there's way too much evidence in the universe that is that is already sounds like already there to connect this low vibrational libra to this air sign um which is going to leave them in despair too so the money blocking spell spells are about to energetically boomerang back to this low vibrational Libra. And the death, it doesn't sound like it's occurred yet. It sounds like it's about to occur. And it's going to, they're going to be connected to it, which is not only going to leave them in despair financially, but to leave them in despair because they might be arrested and connected with some kind of death, possibly. I didn't hear they were going to be arrested. But that's just my deductive logic reasoning and intuition on this. Um, because if you're connected or suspected to be connected with the death, I would assume authorities would do something about it in some shape, form, or fashion. Or at least I would hope so. Um, but you plug it in, how it resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, oh my God, it's on the bottom of the deck again. Despair times two. For one of these Libras, a particular water sign is going to move very quickly away from you. One is going to be forced. One is going to voluntarily move away. Okay, so if this resonates for you, low, low vibrational Libra, I heard um, there's at least two water signs you're dealing with in some shape or fashion in your life. You have to plug them in how they resonate. Masculine and feminine water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I heard one is going to be forced to be move forced to move away from you. So for some, I feel you could you could wind up in jail, and that's why they'd be forced to move away from you, or they could end up in jail, or some other kind of forceful away from you in some shape, form, or fashion. 
how that resonates. But I feel like you're about to be connected to this death. I feel you're probably going to end up in jail, um, awaiting trial, possibly. That's my deductive logic and reasoning on this, but I could be wrong. I don't work in the law enforcement community, but that's just my deductive logic and reasoning on this. But I heard they're going to be forced away. One's going to be forced away from you, and one is going to voluntarily move away from you. So you're dealing with at least, if this resonates uh, for this low vibrational Libra, you are a low vibrational Libra you're connected to. They're dealing with two water signs, Cancer Pisces, at least two in the universe, Cancer Pisces Scorpio energies. Masculine or femme, they could have Cancer Pisces Scorpio and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Venus, Jupiter charts. But I heard one is going to be forced away from this uh, low, low vibrational Libra, and one is going to voluntarily move away. So this might leave you in despair as well, low, low vibrational Libra, for the one that's going to be forced away from you. And the one that's voluntarily going to move away from you, that might leave you in despair as well, possibly. You have to plug these people in your life, however, that resonates for you. Ooh. Spirit messages you have reflected. Main male. Number one could be a very um, significant number in your life. Number one. It could be a possible number, um, age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to. It could be a possible lottery number, date of birth number, social security card number, green card number, um, jersey number, etc., etc. Number one. For some, this is your baby daddy. For some, this is your third party situation. Okay, I heard for some, this is your baby daddy, and for some, this is your third party situation. So for some, this main male energy, or it can be a femme that takes on heavy masculine, however that plugs in your life, low vibrational Libra. Um, because everybody takes on masculine and femme energy. So for some, it actually could be a masculine energy. For some, it could be a femme that takes on heavy masculine. But I heard for some, it is a baby daddy of yours. So it actually is a masculine with a female part. And for some, it's your third party. So you have to plug this person in however they resonate. They're coming up as the main male energy. This could be the person you're about to be forced away from. For some of you, I feel, possibly. For some, maybe not. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. Some there will be jail here. Some there will be transfers. Some there will be relocation. Okay, I heard for some there will be jail. For some there will be transfers. And for some there will be relocation. So I think jail, this person... Either you or this person is going to end up in jail, or you or this person is going to end up relocating, or you or this person is going to end up transferring in some shape, form, or fashion. Energies could be reversed. I didn't hear they were going to do these things, or you were. I heard someone. So I feel like if you or this person, you have to plug um, the situations in, how they resonate, if they resonate for you. So it's either you or this person winding up in jail. For some, it could be both, if the connection to the air sign death, possibly. Um, if you both are connected, possibly. Um, for some, it could be the transferring energy. So they're transferring or you're transferring. For some, relocation. They're relocating or you're, you're re relocating. However, that resonates in one's life. But uh, for some, it's your baby daddy, I heard. And for some, it's your third party. For some, it is a partner you're sleeping with secretly. For some, it is a partner you're sleeping with secretly. And for some, it's a homosexual relationship. For some, it's a partner you're sleeping with secretly. And for some, it's a homosexual rela relationship, Libra. So for some, I mean, there's a lot going on in here. So you have to plug the messages in how they resonate. So for some, it's your partner you're secretly sleeping with, Libra. For some, it is your um, a homosexual partner. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, however, this resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. And for one particular low vibrational Libra, a very significant torrent is about to become very, very significant in your life in a very negative way. Know this. 
about to place very heavy negative power moments on you because of the past. Woo wee, this is strong. So you plug it in how it resonates, low vibrational Libra. Um, I heard um, a very significant Taurin is about to become very significant in your life. Um, they're about to place heavy negative tower moments on you because of some kind of past energy. So something about the past, um, in some shape, form, or fashion, only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug this in, however it resonates in your own life. Um, something about your past, dealing with the Taurus. I feel it could be a masculine Taurus for a lot of you guys. I feel it could be a masculine Taurus or a femme that takes on heavy masculine energy. But something about your past, dealing with a Taurus. They could have Tauren in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Hebrew, Jupiter. The Tauren is about to place negative, heavy tower moments on you because of something that happened in the past. That's going, and it sounds like it's going to be negative tower moments for you. This Tauren is about to place on you. So you have to plug in your life however that resonates, if that resonates. All right, you guys, we're done. I hope this helped. If you think anyone else could benefit from these messages, please share these videos on your social media and word of mouth. I'd appreciate it. Love you guys so very much and namaste.